Hi guys, it's me, Teacher Gon. In our today's video, we will talk about the properties of parallelogram. So before I start discussing this topic, I would like to say shout out sa lahat ng mga taga Adelinawan National High School. So if you're new to my channel, don't forget to like and subscribe at hit na rin yung bell button for you to be updated sa ating latest uploads. Again, I'm Teacher Gon. Let's do this topic. So basically guys, before I start, I will be discussing how to name the parallelogram at we will identify the two pairs of opposite sides. So dito, in naming this kind of parallelogram, I'll be using a uh, small figure representing a parallelogram or you can also use the word parallelogram itself. And then, gagamitin natin yung different letters representing its vertices to name this figure. So, we can name this as parallelogram A, B, C, and D. And remember, importante dito yung arrangement. Hindi nyo pwedeng gamitin yung name na A, C, B, D. Ito yung possible name na gagamitin natin for this figure. And for the two opposite parallel sides, yung kanyang opposite sides, yun yung automatic na parallel. Ito, itong A, B, and B, C. So, we can say that side A, B, is parallel to side BC kasi based on our definition and another pair of parallel sides na meron tayo is that we have side AD is parallel to side BC ito ngayon yung basic definition ng ating parallelogram so now let us start discussing the different properties of parallelogram so let's start with property number one so for property number one it says here in any parallelogram opposite sides are congruent again opposite sides are congruent pag sinabi natin congruent sides ito yung mga sides na may equal in terms of measurement so let's say for example um i'll be doing or i'll be giving you an example like you adding a b uh it measures eight units and yung ating side AD, this side, is equivalent to 6 units. And then, you will be asked, what is the length of side DC? What is the length of side DC? And what is the length of side BC? So basically, ito yung pinapahanap at yung length itong BC. So, applying this property, hindi na kailangan magsukat pa ng mga gumamit ng mga measuring materials because it says here that opposite sides are congruent. If AB and DC are opposite sides, therefore, it has the same measure of AB. Meaning, the measurement of DC is equivalent to 8 units. And for side BC, since BC, this side is opposite to your side AB, meaning, or basically, your side BC measures 6 units. Ganun lang kadali yung property number 1 natin. Again, do not forget that in any parallelogram, opposite sides are congruent. Let's start with property number 2. It says here that we have in any parallelogram, opposite angles are congruent. Before we start applying this property or analyzing this property, identify muna natin which angles are opposite and congruent. So, itong angle natin ito, this angle is opposite to this angle. So, basically, based on our property, we can say that they are congruent. So, nagamit tayo ng markings. This angle is congruent to this one. So, we can name that angle as angle D, A, B. Ito yan. Angle D, A, B is congruent to, try, to angle D, C, B. Angle D, C, B. Kasi sabi nga sa property natin, opposite angles are congruent. Eh sir, nasan pa yung opposite congruent angles natin? Another angle na opposite and congruent, natin yung dalawang ito, isa, dalawa. So we will be using different markings compared to this one. At ito rin, since they are opposite and congruent, same markings sila. So we can have the statement that Angle C, D, A, angle C, D, A is congruent 
to angle A, B, C. Angle A, B, C. So ngayon, paano ngayon natin i-apply yung property number 2 that opposite angles are congruent? So let's say for example, you will be asked that ay, may given tayo na angle angle D, C, B is equivalent to 135 degrees. So this is 135 degrees. And you will be asked that what is the measurement of angle B, A, D? In which ito tinuturo natin. B, A, D or D, A, B. So we have D, A, B. D, A, B. So ang question dito, what is the measurement of angle D, A, B? Since meron tayong property na opposite angles are congruent, and this angle is opposite to this angle, therefore, this is also equivalent to 135 degrees. Ganun lang kasimple yung pag apply ng ating property number 2 that opposite angles are congruent. So let's start discussing property number 3. It says here, consecutive angles are supplementary. When you say consecutive angles, these are angles na magkasunod yung vertices. And pag sinabi naman natin yung supplementary, ito naman yung angle pair in which their sum is equal to 108 degrees. So let's say for example, uh, given this figure, let's say that this angle measures 40 degrees. So your angle ADB, angle A, A, D, B is equivalent to 40 degrees. Ang tanong dito, what is the measurement of angle D, C, B? So basically guys, since they are supplementary, we can subtract 40 from 180. It will give you 140 degrees. As you can see, 40 plus 140, that is 180 degrees. And kung mapansin nyo, continue lang natin yung sa figure natin. Yung angle na to is consecutive to this, to this angle. In other words, they are also supplementary. If this is 140, this is also 40 degrees. And this angle is supplementary to this angle, meaning ito rin ay 140 degrees. Ganun lang kasimple yung property number 3. Um, consecutive angles are supplementary. Now for property number 4, it says here, diagonals of a parallelogram bisect each other. So in this given parallelogram, I have here diagonal BD and diagonal AC in which nagkaroon silang point of intersection which is point E. So ano ngayon yung ibig sabihin or what is meant by diagonals of a parallelogram bisect each other? Nung nagkaroon silang intersection, uh, mag-focus tayo sa diagonal na to. We have diagonal AC. Uh, we can say na since sila since the diagonals are intersecting each other, this segment, segment AE, is congruent to segment EC. So they are congruent. And another thing, um, since they are intersecting each other, itong segment na to, yung segment DE, is congruent to segment EB. Yan. Yan yung pinaka-point ng property number 4. So ngayon, sir, maglagay tayo ng example or ng exact measurement. Let's say, for example, yung ating AE or segment AE measures 6 units. This is 6 units. Since they're congruent, ito rin ating segment EC measures 6 units. Yes, sir, isang example pa. How about this a diagonal. Let's say yung ating segment EB measures 7 units. Sir, if this is 7 units, ito na natin EB, if this is 7 units, therefore, this is also 7 units by this property. Again, diagonals of a parallelogram are, or sorry, diagonals of a parallelogram bisect each other. Now, for property number 5, a diagonal divides the parallelogram into two congruent triangles. So we have here diagonal DB or BD wherein uh, when we apply or pag ginamit natin yung property number 5, uh, it will give us the idea that these two triangles are congruent. So we can have the statement that 
triangle A BD is congruent to triangle C D B. Triangle C D B. Ito ngayon yung pinaka uh, concept ng property number 5 natin when it comes to parallelogram. And yun lang yung mismong discussion natin about different properties of parallelogram. If you have any question or suggestion na gusto nyo i-discuss natin within our channel, you can comment down below para malaman ko kung ano pa yung kailangan yung video na dapat natin gawin, gawan ng tutorial. So if you're new to my channel, don't forget to like and subscribe at i-hit mo na rin yung bell button for you to be updated sa ating latest uploads. Again, I'm Teacher Gon. Maraming maraming salamat. Bye-bye!